You probably know that on Hanukkah, Jewish people light a menorah with eight branches on it, plus one for the helper candle, or shamash. Have you ever seen pictures or paintings of the historical temple in Jerusalem? Or even on a synagogue bima, you'll see a menorah with seven branches. This is also the menorah you see on coins in Israel. What's going on? Let me break it down. In the book of Exodus, God speaks to Moses and explains in beautiful detail about how to build a lamp for the sanctuary or tabernacle. It should have three branches coming from each side for a total of seven lights when you count the main one in the middle. This is the intricate menorah that was crafted by Bezalel. A replica of it figures in the Hanukkah story. Remember the menorah inside the temple that the Greeks trashed that stayed lit miraculously for eight days? That's where the eight-branched Hanukkah menorah comes from. The eight lights commemorate the eight days of the miracle in the story. The Talmud states that you cannot use a seven-branch menorah anywhere outside of the temple. So, bonus light. And it's less confusing in Israel where they call a Hanukkah menorah a Hanukkiah. 